In this video, we shall be looking at Corsair's Airflow Memory Cooler. So the cooler comes in a simply printed box as you can see with instructions printed on the box on two sides. We shall look at installation in more detail as we proceed in the video. Quick overview of the product. The Corsair Airflow memory cooler contains two 60mm fans that blow air directly onto the memory modules in order to keep them cooler. What comes in the package are two clips to mount the cooler, the necessary screws and the cable is permanently attached to the cooler and the cable is braided. To assemble the cooler first we have to put the clip from under the cooler and align the holes and then we simply put the screws from top these are thumb screws simply tighten them with finger and leave them somewhat loose we shall tighten them later fully after placing them on the motherboard and repeat the same process on the other side as well and the cooler is assembled so now let's look at the installation process of the cooler to start, we need to have the memory fully installed, in other words, the memory's retention clips fully secured. Next, the cooler is placed over the retention clips of the memory modules. And then we can adjust the position of the fan block to best suit our needs. Then we simply further tighten the thumb screws that we left previously a little bit loose so that we can adjust during the installation process. And after that, we're pretty much done. It's simply a matter of connecting the cable. For testing we are using Ribjaws X 8GB memory modules and for temperature we are using Asus Thermal Radar. Outdoor temperature without any cooler was 36 degrees and when loaded with Prime95 the temperature reached 39 degrees. The room temperature at the time of testing was 25 degrees Celsius. At idle the temperature was recorded at 29 degrees and with load the temperature was still 29 degrees. So that demonstrates that with or without the cooler there is quite a bit of difference and the cooler is doing a good job it's keeping the temperature quite near the room temperature just four degrees separate and even in load conditions the temperatures didn't go up which was expected to go up and it was very very quiet all along so this may be appealing to enthusiasts who don't want to leave anything on chance cooling the memory can be the difference and this product seems to do that job quite well thank you for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it what you like or disliked about this video, please be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And please do also remember to subscribe in order to stay updated with our latest upcoming videos. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.